welcome everybody. Uh, we've got a match hey. between Chris X3, Ardil, joined by David Red Sox. Welcome. Hey, hey everybody. Let me start up a prediction. The first map is going to be Whittleton. Finn is coming very soon. Start with. Get your stuff in, everybody. Do I predict? Do I have? Do I have a? Like, is there a conflict of interest here? All right. Let's see how much of my twenty-six thousand points I'm gonna jump in. Hmm. I don't have a countdown to this. Oh, five seconds. Just. Oh. Okay. We're going quick. Yep. Um, all right. Do you mind if I run down the spin? Sure. So we for Janus we have Loud Shotgun as Sheriff Masterson, and for Cassidy we have Loud Explosive as Politician's Assistant. So two unique disguises and two loud kills. That's crazy. Yeah, this is this is a rough spin for sure. Yeah. I, I suck at getting the Politician's Assistant. It's definitely something I'm gonna have to practice before somebody picks that on me. But uh... yeah. Hmm. Normally for. Masterson spins, I just go for him first and then go for Janus, get the evidence in the basement, and then isolate him in the house. But it's going to be a little different for Loud Kill because you'll have to um, find a dump, him, most likely. In, yeah. or, Could get or, him in the basement. Yeah. I don't know if at that point is he in the living room at that point because that would be. Yeah. Pretty simple. Should be, and then you could probably drag him in the basement. But you don't—I don't know if you have enough. You don't have enough um, slots like in the in the bins because you have to knock out two guards. You have to knock out the one in the basement, and you have to knock out Gunther. So you'd have to f like. I mean, I guess you could knock out the guard in the kitchen and then take take him to the the um, garage as well. But looks. Well, do you think that? Uh, a loud shotgun would be heard from somebody like the the guy in the kitchen, maybe. Because you could always knock out the guy in the kitchen, knock out the basement guy, and then pull the penis. orange shirt guy outside of the basement on in the yard. We'll hear from basement stuff. Oh, yeah, he hears anything in there. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, you could open the 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 pathway, the secret pathway. Oh, it wouldn't be horrible. Yeah, that's true. But, Chris has the politician's assistant already. Yeah. He's making quick work. Looks like he's going for Janus, though. Yeah, I think he might be trying to isolate Janus before uh, he gets in a weird spot on his cycle. Oh. <laughs> he got barely spotted by a camera there, so I'll have to kill the cameras. <laughs> Doesn't have any lockpicks or anything, so... Oh, he's just going straight. Oh, yeah, that is an issue. <laughs> yep. There's a... Uh, not... I can't remember where the... I don't know if there's a crowbar. Um, there one over in the construction area, maybe? There's... Well, I think... Yeah, there's... Yeah. There's I think that's the, the only one. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the only one. I don't... Oh, don't there's... Know. there's Yeah, there's one right by this tractor. That's... That's... And then... Maybe one in the actual back, like, construction area by the spawn. Yeah. But they're both, like, out of the way. Um, Chris is replanning. Ardell looks like he's going to go for a... Sh not Masterson. Yeah, he figured it out. He looked at the... May restart. I don't think he knows where Masterson is. Yeah, because he drank two different guys. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, Pidgey, we're doing a reverse reverse cast. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a cool strat from Chris. He's like a bunch of distraction shots, and then he just tranks the politician's assistant and grabs him where he stands. That's really nice. 
Yeah, that's true. That's like really nice. One trank shot, pretty quick. Though it does require... Oh. Ardo's still looking. Yeah. It it does require that you bring a pistol and a trank, where the yeah. other one I think is only just a trank. But... Yeah, but you do have the smuggle by the bench for your shotgun, and then you've got a free inventory slot for like a duck or something. Yeah. Definitely probably the fastest way to get him. I yeah, think. I think so too. Keep that in mind for contracts. <laughs> Ardil is looking for uh, Sheriff Masterson Silver. He doesn't know which one he is. Okay, so Chris is knocking out the guard in the basement. Take out the evidence. Grab a clue. Okay, so Ardil has found Sheriff Masterson. Now he's probably going to change his starting point, maybe? Or maybe he'll go with this start. Okay, Chris has the house cleared out and Janus knocked out. I think he may need to drag him before that guy cycles back. I don't I think he can see him, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. So Chris just dragging him in the basement like we said, but he's gonna have to be careful because I think I don't know about this back area right here, but I know that if you shoot in the basement, that that guy, the orange shirt guy outside, will hear. Hmm. Maybe he's yeah. gonna rearrange the he bust. Went. It looks like, yeah, it looks like he's gonna do that because he pulled him right to the doorway. Nice. Interestingly, he's leaving the politician's assistant. Uh, don't know why he switched there. But... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. So uh, I guess maybe so when he goes to when he he's gonna go grab Masterson then when he gets back the disguise will be waiting for him and he won't have to leave it across the map. Oh, true. Yeah. Smuggle point is so weird. Yeah. It's like incredibly out of the way. <laughs> okay, so now Chris needs to go get Jeff Masterson. Meanwhile, Ardil does have it. Okay, he just. Crowbarred open a door right in front of two people. <laughs> he also has his explosive smuggled in the creek shed, which is really out of the way. I don't know why you would put it there, since it's a small item, especially. Yeah, put bench would be best kitchen. here. Bench or, yeah, or park or even Janus's kitchen, since he's going for Janus first. Oh, this will be interesting. He secreted the politician's assistant. I wonder where he's going to go. Does he still yeah, go to the, the bin? After the toilet patch, nobody knows. He still goes to the bin. Of course. Maybe they only changed it for main targets. Well, I, I'm of the opinion that they probably just deleted a bunch of bins until they were, like, the small amount of testing that they did uh, was good enough. Yeah. The, uh, when I, I secret Ken, or I medic him, and he went to the kitchen, and there's like a, a like literal like bucket of like baguettes. Yeah, bread basket. It, yeah, I didn't know anything about that because I've been gone, so I just like don't know what you're supposed to do there. Yeah, Ardell's definitely going to struggle here getting the politician's assistant. Yeah. That's a hard disguise to get if you don't know, like, if you don't have a strap for it, it's definitely like very difficult to figure it out yeah was this this must have been chris's map choice right uh yeah ardell picked haven oh god yeah good luck all right so chris is gonna knock out cassidy here in the garage yep probably just leave his explosive there with him and close the garage door yep pretty straightforward No sense in dumping this guy, really, but... 
Please close the garage door. There you go. Okay, so he's got to get two more Did clues here. Get air now? Uh, he's something happened. Yeah, the screen's black. Uh, maybe his game crashed. Yeah, he's back up. Game's back on. Yes, Rock. I mean, me and Coats had a match already. Yeah, we just played. I'm sent to the loser bracket. We'll end up being more stacked anyway, somehow. Man, that sucks. Our little game crashed. Pretty much puts him... I mean, I think Chris was winning this anyway. He's pretty much got everything set up and ready to go. Yeah. He just has to get back over to Janus and shoot him, and then he's good. Does I think he even has a crowbar already. I'm not sure. But it's... Yeah, pretty straightforward from here, as long as he doesn't get caught by some random thing. Okay, Ardell Secret, the guy who talks to the politician's assistant now, but I'm pretty sure he's just going to go to a bin. Yeah. There's several bins in the park, so secreting two people is not going to do anything. But, oh, I guess you could just seeker everybody. Just dart everybody. Um, He darted the politician's assistant and got legacy behavior on the guard somehow. And KOs him. No. <laughs> This, this is just a happen? yeah i couldn't tell you man this is just an awkward i i i don't i don't know man chris, chris has got him to, uh, good though yeah, go go through the tunnel here definitely the safest way to go he gets no gunshot heard so that's good and he can switch back to the politicians assist what is he doing <laughs> He just looked into the camera for dramatic effect, I guess. Um, <laughs> he's got the politician's assistant disguise. He's got the detonator. He just needs to run to an exit. Yep, any exit will do. Yeah, he's just looking for him, I guess. And he is uh, trespassing here, so he needs to be careful. He is the farthest from an exit he could possibly be. <laughs> Uh, so just uh, go okay. back to the start. There you go. Get that detonator in hand, and you're good. You're out in eight, eight twenty, eight twenty-five. I don't know what he's looking for. Keeps opening the map. I'm. Ardell doesn't even know how. To how does Ardell program an entire server? Doesn't know how the whiz or uh, what is it called? Trespassing, yeah. The the peekaboo. The peekaboo, yeah. There we go. He doesn't even know how peekaboo works. This is... Oh, is there no game audio? Oh, I guess I can turn one on now that it's over. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Is the assistant a trespassing enforcer? Um, I don't know, actually. But it didn't look like he was trespassing in the shed, so... No, yeah, he's not trespassing in the shed anyway. All right, well, next is uh, Ardell's Haven Island choice, so this yep. is going to be interesting. Good luck to both of them. Uh, yeah, Haven is... Uh, it's just kind of disgusting, to be honest. Tyson Williams has his x-ray glasses on. Yeah. He has those gunner glasses. <laughs>
Chris gonna be on Haven in that beautiful 21 by 9 reading. Yeah. JK. Hardle's showing us the uh, the intro cutscene for our Haven. Oh yeah, let me cash out the prediction. Good point, good point. All right, new prediction up. Get your uh, your bets in. The channel points are only gonna hurt me, so. <laughs> uh, big shout out to all the admins for the work that they've put into RR5 specifically. The all of them, but RR5 specifically, like. Awesome work so far. Everything looks super cool. Yeah, I really love the overlay. And uh, especially the new stuff for just how the ease with which it is to set yeah. up in OPS. And yep. also the the really nice uh, hitmaps, like transition stuff. Yeah. Really, just really cool. It's awesome. So good job, Mike. And also good job, Mo on the design. Hopefully everybody got some uh, points. Oh, let, yeah, let's see what this new prediction has. <laughs> yeah, 94. You might as well throw in a, a few a few bullets on uh, our deal, guys. <laughs> yeah. Putting it on Chris is not going to not going to do anything anymore. Oh, I guess the submission's closed. Holy smokes, you, you really uh cut it short on these predictions. Yeah, one minute's good enough. Spin's coming in in 30 seconds. I try to do them before the spin comes up so that it's the least influenced mm -hmm. by everything. I think the last one I missed by a couple of seconds because I forgot, but this one we got it in. All right, I, I will uh, read the spin this time. Okay, so we got Tyson Williams with the scissors as resort guard. Stephen Bradley uh, as a live injected poison uh, as the villa staff, and Ludmilla as or using the starfish as the lifeguard. So. Okay, this isn't bad actually. Yeah. Again, Tyson's probably just going to be the hardest part. Uh, so <clears throat> if you just pull him out of the villa, I guess that's fine. I think I would just start villa staff here and do the theater ISO on him. Mm -hmm. um, where the, the scissors are in the in the villa, right? So you could grab them on your way to Seeker Steven. And then you're already in the right disguise for Steven. So you just knock out his guard in the in the little room next to the lifeguard and then poison him and then dump the the bodyguard and then grab the lifeguard disguise and uh i think where's the starfish starfish is also right in the theater so you've got you've got your weapon there this is a pretty quick spin actually like there's a starfish in the theater I the starfish know. is right by, is in the bathroom right behind the theater yeah you, you like no, this is actually like a 6 minute spin yeah it is kind of 1 2 3 although yeah. you don't have you kind of have to run back to tyson uh, at the end because you don't have resort guard um yeah true so you grab the blue guard from uh from uh ludmilla her, her thing she you, her guard is a blue guard so you grab him after you've <laughs> killed her and then you run back to the villa and it it'll be hard to get uh, can you get in i think you can get into the theater oh my god tyson just saw that body bro you gotta dump it <laughs> 
maybe it would be better to do Froth Strat and start uh, Spa and pull him out. You're going to be missing out on the weapons if you do that, though. And you'll be missing out on the Villa Staff Disguise, so maybe... I'm not sure. Maybe maybe you just don't even ISO Tyson first. Maybe you just go grab the Starfish and then head out and then try and get him elsewhere. Because getting back oh, into the theater is hard. Ardell just seems like he's running around. I guess he's looking for the Starfish. Does he not know about hitmaps.com or something? I would, yeah, I would get on hitmaps for this if you don't know where it is because you're not going to find it. It's in the... It's, it's literally in the... Bathroom oh, right there. Well, yeah, there is multiple, yeah. But, yeah, probably the closest and best one is probably up here. Yeah, if you start Villa Staff, it's definitely the best one is there. Mm, okay, so you just KO Tyson. All right. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so Chris has Tyson isolated in there, but that's, again, that's not really safe. You need to pull him into the theater room. I know everybody has their own fucking, like, <laughs> bulk on every on the rooms that are safe and what's not, but as far as I'm concerned, there's the villa's just not safe, and the only spot that I know that's safe for me that has been, like, safe past 11 minutes is behind the the couch thing in the theater, like behind that wall. That's the only spot I've ever been able to leave him and he doesn't get found. Almost everywhere else I've I've had him found. Hmm. Well, it seems like Ardell is doing a role play run here. He's just sort of walking around and looking at things. That's a odd pair of scissors to grab for Chris. I didn't even know there were scissors in there. I thought the, there was another pair in here somewhere I don't know I thought that yeah I thought there was some upstairs but I know there's the letter opener upstairs as well so I don't I mean maybe there's some like you know, on a bathroom somewhere I mean there's like five bathrooms in the villa so it doesn't help mm -hmm. okay so he's got his villa staff disguise he's got the scissors for Tyson kill you need to be careful, though, because I know that that lady can see through that wall sometimes, so he might go red here if she... Yeah, I think if Ardell gets a kill, I would be I would be happy for him. He's, he's currently trying to throw an item to pull Steven uh, with four people. Yeah, item from, so. hard. And he's got injected as, as Villa staff, so he needs to... He needs to I either... Maybe he's just trying to pull his guard over to so yeah. quickly inject him, but... He's trying to peekaboo him now, but you can't... He, ne he just needed to get the guard out of the way, I think, because you can actually poke Steven in here pretty reliably. It's, it's blind from everybody except for the, the one lady that roams, so... Yep, Ardo once again not knowing how this works. And he's tranked. Okay. Uh, get Steven here. Like his guard runs forward here. Yeah, maybe he can get. Oh, he got he got caught by the guard. All right, Chris is making his way to Steven, but he needs to be careful because Steven. You don't want to let Steven get to the island, and he's on his way there right now. So he needs to, like, go over there and seeker him, like, immediately. Because he's just going to keep going. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Teenart. Same thing. It's all of the all of the things that you need for the spin are right next to each other for all the kills. It's just the hard part is getting back into the theater. But if you... um. I think you can do it 
even if you're trespassing. It's it's a little difficult, but yeah, I agree. That's probably something I would do. Okay. Chris just got a seeker on uh Steven. Even as a beautiful map, disagree. Yeah, fair, fair. Uh, in terms of visuals, maybe. Yeah, I just else, I don't like it. No, I'm more of the uh, I like that's most like probably like about fifty percent of the reason I like China so much is because it's like at night and raining and it's got like that whole uh like neon feel. Mm -hmm. That's like that's like a lot of the appeal for me. I don't like the beach aesthetics. Yeah, Cyberpunk City, exactly. That's that's my jam right there. Alright, so Chris knocked out the bodyguard of Steven. He's in the right disguise. He's just got to go poke him. Careful, because he... Yeah, you got to wait for that prompt. I don't know if that's new. It feel, I don't remember it being that way in Hitman 2. When they're throwing up, the prompt disappears when they go low toward the toilet. And then it reappears when they come back up. And I think if you press it when they're low, you actually get like a uh, face punch. Yeah, probably. That's I don't remember that being there, which is kind of annoying. So it, it could be just the camera angle, because I know a lot of these yeah. the interaction prompts are due to camera angle stuff. So. Chris, you can just throw something at him straight on. He's sleeping. You don't have to lure him. Ardell's down going uh, any percent mode. Nice. And gets face punched. Nice. There's Tupla and Hugh Lime. <laughs> um, okay. So one kill down for, for Chris. Um, he needs to. The it, so if you seek her Ludmilla when she's this far over, she goes to the women's bathroom in which you're trespassing no matter what disguise you're in, and so you've kind of got to be careful. You want to get her so that she goes to the men's room, which is when she's like right outside this door. So if he gets her right here, she should go to the men's room, I believe. Hello, handsome. Hmm. If you get her, I think I think she should go to the men's room here. Yeah, I guess I I need to practice this more. Yeah, if she, I mean it's not impossible. If she goes to the women's room, you just lure the woman that is uh standing, like right where Chris was just looking. That's standing in the women's room. You lure her into the men's room and KO her and drag her into a bathroom area, and then you can go in the women's room and nobody will spot you, even though you're trespassing. But um, it's just extra steps that you want to avoid. So, but she should yeah. go to the men's room here. Ardell's just sitting at the main menu now. Oh no. I think he may have given up. Well, at the replay on screen, I should say. But... This is Ardell's first time in uh, Roulette Rivals, so and I don't think he's watched an entire backlog of RR matches to figure out all the strats. Yeah, yeah. For, uh, I, I definitely am lucky to have. Did, okay, yeah. Chris just tranked Ludmilla. Don't know why. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't either. Why, or, uh, honestly, I don't know why he hasn't gotten the lifeguard yet. He he knocked him out, and I think he stashed him, but he just doesn't. Oh, he also I missed on Ludmilla's guard. I guess Ardil played in RR four. I don't remember that. Did he? I oh. was out of RR4. Oh, I played against him? Hello, sir. Oh, he played against Timby. Okay. Yeah, I don't... I'm, maybe I, I might have even casted it. I don't remember. I have a bad memory sometimes for things that are frivolous. Either way, the last R was Hitman 3 maps only, so it is tough. Um, oh, yeah, dude. Trying that, to learn Hitman 1 and 2 maps. Everything in that... Everything in the last RR is like a blur to me because it all blends together. It's like, you remember this Mendoza match? Like, no, dude, I casted like 30 Mendoza matches. Sorry. <laughs> I don't. Okay, so 
Chris is making his way over to the tranquilized Ludmilla with Starfish and the lifeguard. Did he just get hit by a bird? He I did. think I think that bird just moved him. I didn't know that a bird had a collision like hitbox. That's yeah, they do. that's funny. I had no idea. It's so strange the way they spawn in too. It's like you will um, do something or like shoot a gun and they'll spawn where the bullet lands. It's really weird. That's really weird. It's not all the time, but yeah. Um. So I'm. Yeah. I think Chris is watching out for this resort guard. Oh wow. Oh. That was kind of scary. Soft trespassing there. Does he have a trank dart left. I don't think he does. I don't know you what he's gonna really do here. Get, you should just get somebody else. Does this guy ever walk in? I don't know. That's. I think he's scared that he's going to. I would imagine he does, but I'm not sure. It doesn't look like he's going to though. I think if he was going to, he would have already. I, I'm not sure. We, somebody should have tested this. I'm sure somebody knows. Froat probably knows. Oh, Ardell just now realizing that uh, Tyson has X-ray vision. Yeah. Using it to his advantage over yeah. here. Tyson this ran downstairs. Could be good. You can uh, drag him in the security his room. Bodyguard does. Oh, oh, he dragged the. Oh no, he's good. He dragged Tyson's body well, here. Oh well, wait, he got caught though. He dragged him into a camera as well, but he got caught. Huh? Yeah. What was that? Is that on purpose? I think he got caught by the guy sitting down. Maybe. What is he? Wait, what is Chris doing here? Oh, he still has a trank. Is he gonna trank the guard? That's not gonna do any good though. Well, he needs this guard disguise. Oh, he needs the disguise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, so now he needs to like run and get Tyson as soon as possible. Cause he's kinda like pushing it right here. He can go see plane exit if he if he can get in here somehow. Well pushing it for what? I, it seems like I mean I think if Tyson is not been spotted for No, I mean the the blue guard. If the blue guard gets woken up, I bet I bet he goes to find Ludmilla. That would be my guess. That guy searches the whole map for Ludmilla. I'm surprised he hasn't like started already. Mm -hmm. I've I've had him when I was doing the uh, SASO race. I've when I would kill Ludmilla with the fiber wire or whatever in the in the hut, um, or not even with the fiber wire with whatever, uh, and I would plant the explosives for Steven when he goes to see CJ and I blow him up with the gas tank. I've had that guy walk through there on his way to find Ludmilla, and I actually I get a non-target when I try to kill Steven. Hmm, it's pretty wild. Oh. Ardell's got Tyson again. He sees the camera this time. Closes the door. I don't know where his bodyguard goes. Done. Yeah, I don't think he does. I mean, that camera doesn't move, so it's fine right where it's at. Uh, look at the swivel. Oh, we got disconnected. Ardell's having a stroke because he got disconnected. He's like, why can't we use Peacock? <laughs> Chris got disconnected, so it's uh, for everybody. Well, it seems like his bodyguard's still gonna walk to wherever uh, Tyson is, so. I'm not so sure about this. What What is the problem here from uh, Ardell? It seems like he's. He needs. He wants the scissors, but he doesn't want to get caught on camera. Or not Ardell. I, I apologize, Chris. It seems like he could just distract one of those guys and then oh. run up and go in. Yeah. Uh-oh, he's, oh, he's getting whooshed. Getting... Yep. So he's whooshed the bartender out into the, the weeds. There's Pretty not bad. a... The only way into the theater is in that back... back way. So he's got to go up those stairs. Yep, Ardell just got spotted. Um, of course, Tyson is not the only person with X-ray vision. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, the villa is is uh, translucent for everybody, not just Tyson, unfortunately. So <laughs> Tyson's usually just the first to see because he's roaming ahead of his guard. Yeah. Ardell's just gonna hang on to Tyson and go down with the ship here. Peacock is not technically a mod. It is technically a custom server, so it's 
Not, it does not function the same way. Still against the rules, though. Yes, still against the rules. There's no way to... Uh, you can't play on two separate Prince servers. really struggling. He's trying to go up the ladder for some reason. I'm pretty sure you just have to go up those stairs, those side stairs, and then distract one of those guys. It literally comes down to that. He's I think so. He's making his way up the ladder, though. You can't get in this way, though, can you? There's um, no... There's a, You can't... Wait, you can... Well, oh, you can climb I on this ledge. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, and I think he has the villa key from Ludmilla. Or it's no, unlocked. This, this is open, okay. But yeah, how is he gonna get past these guys? Don't you have to shoot this to make it like break or whatever? Like you can't get yeah, past here. I didn't know it broke, to be honest. I think you can break it. Oh, he does have, oh, a, he does have a silence pistol. pistol. Shoot it! No. I think you can shoot it. Is he gonna... Well, now I think he's stuck. Yeah, no, you definitely get stuck here, because I've gotten stuck here in a roulette match before. I've gotten stuck here. I remember it vividly, and I had he's to restart. <laughs> yeah. He's going to dump both of them, and then I guess walk in, so that's fine. So he's just going to plant the gun. This is going to be kind of rough, to be honest. <sighs> oh, man. I'm pretty... Oh, he just got the gun. He's so hack, wow, nice, nice wall hacks game. Make sure, Chris, you just saw that that's wall hackable. So dump him first. There you go, nice. Okay. Switching disguise. Yeah, for, I guess. I guess just for safety. But you're Even still. He's still an enforcer. Still a, yep. <laughs> he's still gonna have a tough time getting past those two far guys. I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's been here for like five minutes. At least five minutes. Oh god, it's a nightmare. Not the sort of thing you want to see. Which disguises? Get in the right disguise, please. Please don't do this to us. Please don't do this to us. Oh, there's not even a door there. Okay. No, yeah, you can't go in that way. You have to go in through the the, the actual floor. Oh, oh Tyson, Tyson got, got found. found. Oh, no. Wait, by whom, though? Oh, no. Wow. Like I said, it's not safe. It's not safe. He got found by the doctor. Are you yep. kidding me? It's not safe. The villa is not safe. I repeat, the villa is not safe. Wow, that's that's crazy. Yeah, some of us don't like this map, believe it or not. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know, at least one of us believes it should not have been in here in the first place. <laughs> I yeah. Get my way on that. I, I mean, I, I I asked, well, not asked officially, but, like, I was mentioning that as a solution, but didn't seem to be the case. But Froat's been helping me with strats that are mostly safe, so hopefully I will, if anybody decides to, like, meme me and pick it, then I can show them who's boss, I guess. Chris is having a fit, which is... <laughs> Understand, yeah. That's I I can understand that. Hey, stop that. I mean, he really just needs like to save his trank darts for those two guards on the side, and then pick up Ludmilla's key. Yeah. I mean, he could shoot the the theater thing, and it will break, and he can walk through there through there. I think I'm like ninety nine percent sure you can just shoot it, and it'll break. Yeah, and then he wasted a lot of time on Ludmilla. Yeah, that's true. So he definitely, like... Sing comes at, like, 13, 14 minutes, something like that. And so you... If... You, you want to kind of be out of the map before then, because he kind of ruins stuff.
Okay. And Chris has Tyson down, unconscious. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Ardell really is doing uh, some uh, <laughs> RP. Ardell's playing Among Us. Got target locked down, and he's now dragging Tyson into the security room. And got spotted. Got spotted again. Chris is really just playing it completely safe. Yeah, I mean, like, this map would allow for, like, lots of, like, uh, unique strats from players if it, won't, if, if it weren't so, like, wall hacky, and you might see, like, different stuff from people, like, all the time, because this map has, like, I mean, it has three targets, so there's, like, a million combinations of ways that you could isolate these targets, but unfortunately, there's, like, one safe spot for each one, so... Jasper, the uh, doing the server room lure is kind of bad for the exact same reason as um, just the villa itself is awful because Tyson and everybody in the villa can still see into the server room. Yep. So you could uh, you could do sedative poison on everybody in the server room, and Tyson will run downstairs. Uh, to call yeah. help, but he will also get found, or uh, I think other people in the villa will see him eventually. But yeah, when are they gonna fix this map? Uh, probably never. Yeah, I submitted several bug requests and got a form email back, so I don't really have much hope. Yeah, I submitted the facility analyst bug, and they said that they sent it to the devs to look at, but I don't know. Let's Why see. is why is Chris still here? I feel like he should be moving on definitely by now. And he's still I here. I don't know. I think it's bugged everywhere, Papa, but I can't, I can't yeah, see for sure. It's, it's definitely bugged everywhere. Tnort has several videos of Haven on his uh, YouTube channel with bugs and bad spots and that sort of stuff. Yeah, Jasper, we know the server will make them all go there, but it's still, it doesn't, like, when you, when you knock them out in the server room, people upstairs in the villa can see all the way down into the server room and spot them, so you're not, you're not safe unless you know a very, very particular spot. That's what we were trying to say. If you, if you knock them out in the server room, people in the villa will see down through the ground and spot them. So we like some of us prefer to do like uh higher like isolations on higher levels like on floor two floor three there's what one. is ardell even doing i don't even know what is happening he's in the server room which is trespassing as the villa staff i don't i don't even know what's happening i think that this map has thrown a pretty big wrench in the works for both players that's true i mean chris would have had it a while ago yeah if he just uh, assuming that that thing breaks, if he had just shot that or um, gotten rid of those two side guards. But... Yeah, if he hadn't tranked Ludmilla and uh, his her guard, for sure. Would it help? Yeah. All right, see you later, Silver. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. We gifted sub. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Chris is. Uh... I guess play he's playing it safe for sure. Yeah. Don't don't want to. Uh... Don't want Steven to panic. Just get it pretty easy. I'm pretty 
sure only the villa is wall hackable. So I think he could just not have to dump that guy, but yeah, for safe and sorry, I guess. Also, he is pulling the lifeguard in here for some reason, so. Yeah, that's a good point, Teenart. I don't know. If you use a medic in this server vents now, who knows? Maybe they would all go to the... I actually don't even... Like, what would they do? There's probably not enough toilets on the map. <laughs> they would have to, like, find... They'd find... They'd go throw up in the water or something. Yeah, there are just spots everywhere, I think, that they just throw up uh, on. Because surely they, they must have considered... Somebody doing a medic in the uh, area yeah. down there. I I haven't tracked all of the people though. There's probably like 20 people down there, so trying to track where they all go is just crazy. Um, Chris is about to use the medic tool on Ludmilla here. And I think he grabbed the starfish, so he'll just need to go grab the lifeguard disguise really quick. Hello, sir. Yep, and hopefully he does not decide to drink Ludmilla again for some reason. Yeah. Right, so Ludmilla is going to the men's room. I think he should just KO the guard behind her so that he doesn't have to worry about it. Ardilla's dragging the red guard and the maid and Tyson all into the uh, security room, but he's been caught. Yeah, it still it still does not matter. So this is basically Chris's map to draw at this point. Ooh, I just yep. noticed on the overlay the color of the numbers change as the bar empties. That's oh, that's nice. Very nice. It's the little details. Mm -hmm. uh, this very well could be a tie, who knows? Ardell's got everybody in the bathroom. Now he just needs to go get the lifeguard disguise. He didn't use any tranks as far as I know, so. All right, Chris has the lifeguard disguise. He has the starfish. He's going to get Ludmilla. Then he will grab the blue guard disguise that he left and see if he can make his way into the theater room or the bathroom behind the theater room. I wasn't paying close enough attention, but I what I hope uh, Chris spent all that time at the villa doing was getting rid of the the guards that are outside hopefully he hopefully did something with them but in any case he does have a trank still so yeah Good work, Ludmilla the Trover has been all right so he is in the right disguise for tyson here he just needs to get to the villa and he's got the scissors i believe i hope And let's hope that he can make it into the theater room. Chris is playing it safe around this enforcer. Yeah. Don't turn. Oh, God. And he just missed. He missed. Oh, no. I don't think he missed. I think the, the Avest ate it. Well, so, he, yeah. In any case, he didn't get what he wanted. Yeah. The, uh, the guards, same thing with Sapienza. The guards with the vests. Um, oh good, he grabbed the frog. The guard with the vests will, they'll eat darts. The vests That's will. A, a side quest for every uh, Haven Island spin. 
Yeah, the frog is an intel item, so he must have you get, news. You get 10 extra doubloons when you complete the... Uh, exactly. Stuff. Yeah, okay. It looks like those guards are gone, so I it should just be get over to the stairs and run up. Yeah, I'm really not sure. You can go in that side room if you have Ludmilla's key, or if you have the villa key. So he has the villa key, I'm guessing. You can Chris go in that side room. Distract these guys at all. Uh. Shooting at the villa also is just awful. The angles are just still terrible. You didn't know the map was this bad, dude. You've seen me play this map. <laughs> what do you mean this map? <laughs> I've I've I played this map during the SASO race, which was like really the the first time I had like actually put played this map in Hitman Three, Jeez, and I could immediately tell it was bad. Don't, don't, dude. What are you doing? Oh Did God! You get rid of those guys? I don't know, but he just three shot panicked them. And now if they spot the body through walls, he's not going to know because they're panicked. So if he kill, he might kill Tyson here and still be red. Yeah. He needs to go. I, I could have sworn he got rid of them already. I didn't see them in instinct. I don't think so. Ardell's still trying the exact same thing over and over. I appreciate his uh, his commitment at the very least. He, he needs to He needs to go. Okay, so they're coming down. So he didn't get rid of anybody. Nope. Is there are these two maids still in here? Still. Yeah, but he needs to go in this room here, and then. You know. Oh my God. Please. Oh God. Okay, wow. He hit the shot. He's got another door. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. He's just gonna just trank him or iron whatever it doesn't. Oh God. Okay, doing distraction. Dangerous body found. Come on. Why are you picking up guns? Okay. Okay, he's green. Go seaplane, please. He's dumping the body. And then he's got a disguise in here. Please. Nice. Okay. Should be good. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure there aren't any enforcers for this disguise. I don't think there are. No, I don't think there are, but... And he's killed the cameras. I'm pretty sure he's... Okay, he's... I don't know where he's going. Okay, taking the long route to the seaplane, that's fine. He needs... To, what are you doing? <laughs> he needs to... Hopefully there's no bodies laying around. Uh... No, I think... I think he's good. I think he's fine. Yeah, he's good. Nice. Okay, thank goodness. That's a GG. GG Chris takes it 4-0. Ordil, unfortunately, you know, just his only his only roulette rivals event was Hitman 3 only, so picking two Yeah. Well, two Hitman 2 maps. Or, yeah, two Hitman 2 maps was uh, definitely not his forte. But yeah, GG's to Chris. <clears throat> yeah, GG's. Yep. He is level zero, number almost elite on the global leaderboard there. Nice. Very close. Alright. Well, that was a good match. GG's well played. Mm -hmm. Let's look at some upcoming matches. We have Crimson versus Bat Games on Whittleton Creek and Dartmoor. Um... What time that is 615 CEST. That's like 1115, I think. For me. Going like uh, a little a little minus nine for me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I have no idea. I'm I'm bad at math. And then we've got Red Fox versus Meme Junkie on scale in Mumbai. That'll right. be fun to watch. Yep, for sure. At midnight for me. Serious Pony versus A99, who is veteran Hitman player. I haven't seen him play Roulette, so that'll be awesome. Yeah, we've got a bunch. Teen Arts coming up in a little while. 
Dubby's playing, Jasper and Infrafun. Purple Key, lots of awesome matches coming up. Yeah, for sure. Check out the bracket. E bracket. Interestingly, only two Hitman 3 maps coming up soon. Yeah. In upcoming matches. Very true. So, Ardil is sent to the loser bracket. Chris will be playing again. Oh, because it's very uh, small. Yoshi. Captain Yoshi. Mm -hmm. And let's see. If we go down to the loser bracket. Ardil is against. Can't tell who that is. I can't read it. It's too small. <laughs> Brain Fixer. Brain Fixer, thank you. Sent to the Gulag, exactly. Loser Brack is now Gulag. Gulag matches. 